so today we are going to see the McLaren's theorem so we have a question log of 1 plus sin x using McLaren's theorem so in the order of till powers of x raised to 4 we have to find out so we have the formula for McLaren's theorem is equal to y of x is equal to y of 0 plus x into y1 of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial y2 of 0 plus x3 by 3 factorial y3 of 0 plus x raised to 4 by 4 factorial y4 of 0. Let us take the equation. So we have y is equal to log of 1 plus sin x is the equation. So at x equal to 0, if you substitute at x equal to 0 in above equation, so y at 0 will be equal to 1 plus sin x. If it is x equal to 0, sin 0 is 0, log 1. So log 1 is 0. Next, we need to differentiate the above equation. So that is y is equal to log of 1 plus sin x. That will be y1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus sin x into cos x. If you cross multiply, it will be y1 into 1 plus sin x is equal to cos x. So that is the first equation. Now, differentiating with respect to x, the first equation, differentiating it with respect to x, it will be 1 plus sin x as it is into y2 plus cos x. Sin x differentiation is cos x into y1 as it is is equal to minus sin x. This is the second equation you will get. Now again at x is equal to 0 in the second equation sin 0 is 0 so we will get y2 at 0 y2 at 0 because it is 1 y2 into 0 is 0 and y2 into 1 is y2 of 0 plus cos 0 is 1 so therefore it is y1 at 0 we have found out that is y1 at 0 is also 1. So y1 here we did not find out y1 at 0 is nothing but 1 by 1 into cos 0 is 1 it is. So y1 at 0 is also 1 cos 0 1. So therefore it will be 1 equal to 0. So therefore now you can write it as y2 of 0 is nothing but minus 1. Next. Again, we need to differentiate the second equation with respect to x. We will get as 1 plus sin x. y2 differentiation is y3. Then y2 as it is 1 plus sin x differentiation is cos x plus. Again, cos x as it is y1 differentiation is y2. Then cos x differentiation is minus sin x then y1 as it is which is equal to sin x differentiation is cos x. So and you simplify this it will be the equation 1 plus sin x into y3 plus 2 into y2 cos x minus y1 sin x is equal to minus cos x. This is the third equation. If you put x equal to 0 in the third equation it will be y3 of 0 because it is this is 0 and plus then we know the value of the y2 y2 at 0 is minus 1 here you can see minus 1 if you might put minus 1 it will be 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 minus 2 and this one is 0 is equal to cos 0 is minus 1 cos 0 is 1 therefore it is minus 1 so y3 of 0 if you take that side it will be y3 of 0 is equal to plus 1. Next, again we differentiate third with respect to x, we will get 1 plus sin x into this you can see y4 plus then y3 as it is the sin x differentiation is cos x plus 2 as it is the differentiation of this is minus y2 sin x plus cos x into y2 cos x into you have y3 minus again y2 
sin x differentiation cos x plus sin x y2 which is equal to again cos x differentiation is minus sin x minus into minus plus sin x so this is the equation you get when you solve this equation it will be 1 plus sin x into y4 plus y3 y3 we have then it will be 2 1 plus 2 and this is with 3 cos x y3 then we have minus 3 y2 sin x minus y1 cos x is equal to sin x now again at x equal to 0 in above equation you will get y4 at 0 and this plus 3 y3 at 0 is 1 therefore 3 and y2 uh, y2 uh, at 0 is minus 1 minus 1 this is sin 0 is 0 so this is y1 y1 is 1 therefore it is minus 1 ma, ma, 0 minus 1 is equal to 0 this term is 0 and this is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so therefore y4 at 0 is nothing but minus 2 now substituting all this uh, in the Michelin's theorem equation this is the Michelin's theorem equation so you will get log of 1 plus sin x is equal to you can substitute here so y at 0 is y y at 0 is 0 so you can substitute here that is y1 at 0 is 1 so therefore x first term is x then second term so minus there is y2 of 0 y2 of 0 is minus so minus x square divided by 2 factorial then plus x cube by 8 okay x cube by 8 will do really, then minus x raised to 4 by 12 so this is the answer you will get after solving the equation so how you are getting here so the Michelin's theorem that's all